Hello! In this video, I'll shortly describe the thread-specific storage design pattern. The thread-specific storage is about storing separate data instances for each thread. Normally, when you have two threads like this, they would overwrite each other's data because they are in the same address space and they have access to the same variables and objects. Therefore, they would overwrite each other and this could lead to problems. The thread-specific storage solves this by having a data instance which stores an object for each thread ID. It's important to let the client only access this data instance via special methods for getting and setting the data. And these special methods have to access this data dictionary and return the correct instance for the current calling thread. Let me show an example. Imagine that thread1 sets the object value to 5 and thread2 sets the object value to 38317. How does the data dictionary then look like in the background? Here we can see for thread ID1 the value is 5 and for thread ID2 we have a different value. And every time thread1 and thread2 are accessing these object instance, they will get the same instance. 